Hey guys, I found another lock in the marketplace in downtown Bujumbura, Burundi today. This is a tech tool, registered trademark even, uh, but I've never heard of it. Uh, here's what it looks like. Comes packaged very nicely. Comes with a bunch of keys. It's like a total of five keys, it looks like. So we get this out of there. Get rid of all this packaging stuff. We don't need no stinking screw. Anyway. It, it looks to be pretty well executed, pretty uh, heavy duty construction, good machine work on it. Uh, a couple of odd things about this lock, by the way, it does work perfectly. A couple of odd things about it. Um, first of all, when you look at the key, it looks like a normal five pinner. But if you flip it over just a bit, you can see that there's a cut down the center. I've only seen a couple of these locks before and always here in Africa. And on the other side you got five more pins. So it's got kind of a, if I get the camera to focus, kind of a Y-shaped key there with that groove right down the center. Uh, and that's exactly what you'd expect when you look at the keyway. Kind of a Y-shape, except, let me grab a pointer here, except when you look on the left side it's almost, we'll be picking almost straight up and down. I don't think that's going to be a problem, but on the right we have this very sharp 90 degree corner we need to pick around. So that might be might be a little bit of an issue for us. We can't use top of the keyway obviously, so let's find a bottom of the keyway. By the way, there's your 10 pins, five on each side, kind of offset with one another. So let's see if we can't go ahead and get bottom of the keyway in here maybe not that one find something a little bit thicker try that one, that's the fattest one I got if that doesn't work nothing will, alright that ought to hold it and because we have to turn that very sharp corner on the right uh, and it looks pretty tight in there especially with the fattest possible tension wrench I am going to pick the thin, the 15 thousandths, blue handled, uh, the Peterson standard pick. So let's see if we can't do this. Hopefully this thinness of this pick will let us kind of pick around that corner. Let's find out if that's true. All right, all the way to the rear. I'm going to try to keep this at a good angle. Apply a little bit of tension and let's see what this lock's got for us. Okay. Still some spring ones in there. Okay, that was pin three. I got a little, a little uh, move on, on the core. It's like pin one. I can get around that corner. And nothing else. I probably need to pick something on the left now. Okay, let's move to the left side, the left part of the lock, the F5 on that side. See what we got here. Okay, that was pin three. Pin two. Everything else, oh, there we go. I was going to say everything felt springy, but there you go. The 10 pin BS lock. What an unfortunate name. I'm sure it does mean big security, not what we think, but uh, I didn't feel a single high security pin in this. They all felt normal and they all slid into place pretty easily. In fact, a couple of them apparently slid into place without me realizing it. So there you go. The BS 10 pin tech registered trademark name from downtown Bujumbura. Thank you for your time, guys. Stay safe, and for goodness sake, stay legal.